Hi guys, this is again um, a video I wanted to show for Petros Zographos about his basic unit where he uh, shows his microwave pulse generator with this some kind of uh, special microwave flower vase um, where he puts in the glass test tube uh, and generates hydrogen from salt water. I play this now here. So here you can see his unit. I make the original uh, Greek language a little bit uh, lower volume. So you see this is a basic unit he has there. This is a microwave pulse generator. And here he has covered with some tape uh, some impedance transformers and here he has this some kind of flower vase or microwave vase where he has some kind of um, copper coil in there where he puts this test tube in there. Now he has this shows this uh, to the moderator this metal plates and he will put the test tube in here in this uh, kind of way or something like this. Yeah. Okay, um, this was broadcasted in the Greek TV. And now he uncovers the tape. So to show that there are no hidden batteries there. Now the moderator cuts the tape off with a blade and shows that there are only transformers but no hidden batteries inside there. Okay, you can see, looks like, yeah, like gigahertz RF transformers. So no batteries inside there. Okay, now he puts the tape again on there, because the inventor wants to patent it, so the public shouldn't see too much, I guess. Now the experts are mostly still skeptics when they watch this. So this is now the main microwave pulse generator that is also still unmantled. So we can, so we will see the um, circuit board soon. Now the moderator shows the experts this special alloy mit metal plate which looks a bit like brass metal from the color there you can see the, the metal plate he's using uh, some kind of virtual electrode inside the glass test tube Now the inventor explains uh, how the vase is connected to this all oh, now. You can see this, this little bit like brass looking metal plates.
And now we can see uh, inside this microwave pulse generator. Not many components in there. Some maybe some capacitors and some driver circuits or something like this. Here, two transistors, so it's not too complicated. In another video, he shows it uh, on a spectrum analyzer. He, he has been shown there are peaks around 120 gigahertz, so pretty high frequencies are involved. So you see here uh, as a uh, salt water bottle and uh, glass tube. The experts are still a little bit puzzled how it should work. They ask the questions. Too bad I don't understand Greek language, so uh, I hope we will have soon some Greek uh, watchers, some users, which can translate the original videos for us into English language. Okay, now starting to um, to fix the lid again to the microwave transformer so the unit is now ready to be shown to be powered up Still discussing it all. It would be interesting to to know what they are discussing now. Okay, now the inventor gets his meters out or his meter and connects it to a. Um, AC to DC converter, which he has there, this, this power supply, it's a big transformer, and there's an AC to DC power supply converter. You will see uh, he powers this with about 7.5 volts DC. And he pulls out his meter here to show the voltage. the voltage will be soon better to see I am just filming it on Facebook with my mobile phone here from the YouTube because I'm using the Facebook live streaming now just want to test okay now he has put the metal plate into this glass in vitro tube and test tube and um, has, has added some salt water to it and put it into this kind of microwave flower vase Okay, now it's a little bit crude. Now he connects the output of this crude power supply, DC power supply, to the microwave pulse generator. 
and now he gets a lighter from the moderator and now cannot really yet see it but later you can see it's about 7.5 volts now he has not yet um, um, turn it on so the voltage is a bit higher the open circuit voltage of the uh, now he has connected is now 7.5 volts about Okay, now the, now the power supply is already running and now we see it's already bubbling uh, and now it burns, you see, pretty big flame, pretty big yellow flame, haha, <laughs> so easy, now he pulls it out and the flame is off. Just from the microwave pulse frequencies he has shown, he can just light the flame. It's just incredible. This will change everything, guys. Uh, it's so easy, and it's, he only feeds the microwave pulse generator a few watts, probably less than maybe maybe less than a watt or something like this, and this. Heat power of this flame has about, I guess, so 500 to 1000 watts. <laughs> the experts look very astonishing. Now he pulls out the, the plug from the power supply and it immediately stops, so it's really on demand. So it's really astonishing. Now you see, he has reconnected it. It produces an enormous amount of hydrogen and lights up. You see how it burns. Really amazing. Yeah. By the way, this other thing here is this other newer uh, generator. So, and this is only the basic principle. Now he shows if he pulls it out, no more hydrogen coming out. Uh, is still in so it only works if you add the microwave pulses to excite the salt water and split it now we So that's it basically. So now he has pulled off the water from it and it does not burn without the water. So that's the basic principle. So that's very interesting. It's a very simple process. You only need to know the right frequencies, the microwave frequencies in the gigahertz range, in the about 120 gigahertz range, pulses, or resonance frequency probably of the water, and the um, special metal alloy what he has there in the glass tube. 
uh, maybe it can be replaced by some platinum coated uh, stainless steel mesh or something like this we have to check that out uh, it's very interesting it's so much over unity probably this is other generator there it has a cop of at least 15 which i will show in a later video there are so many videos on this channel uh, you really have to watch all the videos so you um, so you really can understand it all all right this is it for now guys we'll finish it now now we only discuss it with the expert further on but it doesn't show in this sequence anymore okay this is it for now have a good day and bye bye for long